All right, music fans, welcome back. Welcome back again to The Real Music Observer. I'm Dave, observing real music in real time for real people just like you. And me. A little radio voice there for you, just a little. Not very good. Um, Meatloaf goes off the rails today on Facebook. Uh, not sure what's going on with Meat. Uh, got some of the text here, and uh, follow along. I want to thank uh, Dave Sundstrom over on Twitter for pointing this out to me. Want everyone to have the happiest holidays, he writes. I wish all of you the best year you have ever had in 2018. Okay, things are starting off great. I want you all to have a great future. Okay, find the job you want. Sure, like video guy. Uh, the love you are looking for, like being married to a great wife. Uh, and may all your dreams come true. And maybe your rock and roll dreams will come through. I added that part, okay? Just a little meatloaf jargon there for you. Let's feed those who are hungry. Okay, he's giving you a litany of things to do here. Give water to the thirsty, happiness to those who are sad. May we find a cure for everyone who is ill. <clears throat> it's tough. May the world find peace. It's just a big laundry list of hard things to do. May we all learn forgiveness. It is the final form of love, forgiveness. Okay, I'll buy that. Uh, thank you for all the years you have been with me. And I am glad our music has brought peace and enjoyment to so many. Thank you. With much love. This is my... And then he goes off. This is my last post. And after the holidays, Facebook will be taken down. Love to you all. <laughs> Meet. Okay? P.S. Remember this as you go through life. Dishonesty is due to a desire for love and acceptance. Always your friend no matter what. Meet. Okay. And then there's more. Here, here he goes again. Maybe some of you that write comments could start liking my page. 74,000 people saw this page. I have 76 likes tonight and 120 dislikes. You write and tell me how much I mean to you, but you don't like me. <laughs> Why do you stay here? <laughs> I've said that, you know, to people before. You know, I'm empathizing with some of this here. Because I've said this to people, if you don't like my page, start your own. Go somewhere else. Why are you watching me? It's Troll City. That's what it is. I would take it down tomorrow, but the internet admin is away on vacation. Thanks. Meet. Again, thanks to Dave Sundstrom for the tip. Uh, I, didn't, I, don't, I didn't follow the Meatloaf page. I think I liked it, but I didn't do the whole thing where you get the notifications on it and see it first and all that stuff. So... You know, I'm kind of late to the game here, but once I read this text, I was like, holy crap, Batman, Meatloaf's gone off the edge. He's he's not in the roasting pan anymore. He's jumped out. Okay, I know, it's too much material to work with the Meatloaf jokes, but did I do I like Meatloaf? Yeah, I, I like him. I'm a fan. Uh, I think he, he is an institution. He is like one of the greatest performers live in his heyday. I'm not sure the last 10 or 15 years, but he was the dude who left it all on the stage. You know what I mean? Like leaving it on the field. He left it on the stage, sweating profusely, big guy, big personality, and great voice uh, for many, many years. He, I mean, he was like the male equivalent of a rock opera star. I mean, he was that powerful of a voice. However, I will say this about the meat. Um, he's got to be with Jim Steinman. It's kind of like Elton John and Bernie Toppin. I mean, those two guys were meant to work together. And when Meatloaf would go off on his own, and I guess he and Jim had some disagreements creatively in the late 70s, and then there was a big gap until, what, like 1990 or so, 91, when Bat Out of Hell 2 came out, and, you know, that... That album should have came out, and I had Dead Ringer for Love, and I know some of the titles. I was a big fan of, of Bad Attitude, which was not Jim Steinman, but had some good material, including the song Modern Girl. And then he had some, again, sort of hit and miss kind of 80s sounding stuff sandwiched in between the comeback. Uh, I'm not sure. Meatloaf, uh, his career at this point, classic rock in general, melodic music in general, on the decline, uh, this is a guy who I think is seeing, you know, mortality staring him in the face after some real scary health things, and you know, collapsing on stage is not a fun thing. Um, 
I don't know, but this is kind of, again, the TMI. You're on Facebook or Twitter and you're just annihilating whatever. You're just, this is, this is a job for the admin, okay? I wish I had an admin because then I might actually do comments here on YouTube. But, you know, of course, Meatloaf can pay an admin. I wouldn't be able to do that because you need somebody at 2 o'clock in the morning who'll get the notification, who'll wake up and will see, you know, you being trashed in paragraph after paragraph and can go in there and clean it up and delete it, okay? But apparently, you know, Meatloaf's just letting the chips fly and that's that hasn't worked out too good for meat now, has it? That's, I mean... I wish him well. I mean, I empathize with some of this, but on the other hand, I mean, you're a rock star, okay? You're a rock star, and I think you have to let most of it roll off, and again, get that admin on it. I don't know about deleting your Facebook page. If you got fans that love you, I'm not sure they're going to appreciate you sort of going into seclusion. Uh, you know, maybe he's on Twitter. I don't know. I haven't seen Meatloaf on Twitter, but I'll check that out. All right, so that's it. Meatloaf melts down and jumps out of the baking pan and onto the counter and not looking too good right now. I hope he's all right, man. hope he's not having a mental breakdown. That would be a very bad thing to happen right around Christmas. All right, that's my report. I'm Dave reporting, and this is The Real Music Observer, observing real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. See you soon.